Working pretty hard. Um, you know, we have most of the guys in, a lot of young guys in the summer, and uh, so far, so good. What's it been like uh, getting those young guys acclimated? Um, you know, I just remember going back to my freshman year. It's just good to get a feel for things and how everything works, and uh, I think it's been really good for the young guys just to get a feel of how things will go and, uh, you know, try and get a little bit of a jump start before camp. What's the most important part of the summer phase? Um, I would definitely say conditioning and strength gains. You know, obviously those are two big things we work on every summer. But, you know, having that physical uh, conditioning advantage going into camp, you can do more work and be more productive. Do you feel like you're moving into a, a newer role this year as an upperclassman and somebody that's getting old? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you feel a little bit more experienced. Uh, that leadership role, you know, kind of naturally falls on the older guys. And uh, this year, more than others, you know, uh, myself, Riley, and Zeus, you know, we're kind of, and Adam. So we're all taking it upon ourselves to try and be leaders and, uh, you know, really show guys the way to go. What's that mean to you to be a leader? I mean, what's. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's really important to us as individuals. You know, it's, uh, it's an honor. You know, it's something, uh, you know, we've always looked up to older guys and, you know, how they've gone about their business. And now it's our turn to try and uh, do the same. You get any tips from your brother on how to? Yeah, he was kind of known for his leadership here. No, nah, yeah, he, he hasn't really said a whole lot to me. Just you know, uh, his big thing was always uh, you know a leader by action. You know, just as a center naturally, I guess he was more vocal than the other guys. Yeah, but uh, you know, his he always stresses uh, you know you got to be doing the right things uh, you know on the field before you can try and you know be more vocal as a leader. Is it fair to say he's a little more vocal than you are? Yeah, Brian definitely. He's always been a little bit more outgoing, and uh, you know that's just his personality, and you know that he brought that kind of you know personality of the offense line and uh, you know it was healthy for him. So was it easy for you growing up with that older brother like that? I'm sure he would share yeah. his feelings. For you. No, yeah, absolutely. It's always better if you have someone who can draw the attention away from you. So That's I've, what he did? Yeah, I always appreciated that. But uh, no, Brian definitely backed it up on the field though. So he was, a, he was a great player, a great leader on and off the field. With everything he accomplished, did you think when you got here you had something to kind of live up to family-wise? Uh, no, you know, and that's the beauty. I think a lot of that goes back to my parents. It's just, you know, not putting any pressure on us as, you know, the kids is everyone's their own human being and does their own thing. So, you know, hopefully Steve doesn't feel any of that pressure, you know, or, you know, I definitely didn't feel any of it from Brian. But, um, yeah, he's sibling rivalry. Definitely you want to try and up him one. But, uh, no, uh, he's uh, no pressure really from him at all. It's just definitely a lot of support.